Hey folks, it's Justin here at Metcalf Mills. Back in the kitchen, we're going to cook some food because, you know, we can't eat at Permapasture Farm every single day. We're going to be cooking a pot of soup beans today. And well, that's what, if you don't know, that's a pinto bean. We call them soup beans here in the mountains. I'm not really going to be the one cooking them. Uh, my missus is. And y'all hadn't met her yet, but I'm really excited about introducing you. Uh, she likes to be called Mrs. Beach. And uh, she's real sweet, and uh, she's she's hot. I mean, she is hot. Uh, I'm excited about you meeting her. One other thing I wanted to tell you before you meet her, and this is really, really important. Uh, don't ever, never call her by her first name because it won't end well. She just does not like it. If you ever see her in person or just in the comments even, never, please never use her first name because she does not like it. Here she is. All right, folks, here she is. She's, uh, like I said, she's going to cook the beans for us today. Mrs. Beach right here. Yep, that's her. She is a sweetie. Yeah, I want to ask all the ladies out there. Now, answer honestly. Would you want to be called Hamilton? I don't think so. All right, we got our pintos right here. Beautiful pinto beans. What I do is just... Uh, is I... Uh, look through them because sometimes you have some beans that are don't look real good as well as there can be rocks in these because even with modern bean cleaning equipment they can't get them real clean and this is not the pintos that we growed this past year see right there's a rock right there let me get it A little rock right there you can see it so we'll throw that up here not in with the beans but yeah like i was saying this is not the pintos we growed uh i was just too no account to go out to the barn and get some and shell them out i really didn't think about it and soon enough i'd used up all that we had shelled and uh had to fall back on my stored beans here but uh you just want to look through them real good <clears throat> get any out that you know don't look just right or look like they might have something going on that you don't want to eat maybe they got some damage at some point along the way and just don't look good i've seen them look a little kind of like they had some kind of real dry mold on them i don't know if that's what it is or not but I just pick all that kind of stuff out. Just takes a minute. And like I said, get any rocks you see out of them too. them in not cold water but not real warm water either you get them too warm when you wash them it makes the skins want to come off for some reason i guess it shocks them but anyway you just wash them real good kind of scrub them around with your hands get them real clean let them drain i'll put a little salt in the water i just fill this pot up with a little over half full with water put a little salt in 
I don't measure salt and beans and stuff like that. I just put what I think is a good amount. Uh, also, some red pepper flakes, just a few. We like that in our soup beans. Uh, and we just put in the beans. The main thing about cooking a pot of beans, you gotta have this. I've eat them with like chicken broth instead of this, and that is eatable, but I still, this is always best in my opinion, and that is what we call Midland meat, salt pork. You can use fat pack, you know, just some good pork to, to season that meat with. And what I do, we slice this stuff up to fry. If we have a meal of soup beans and taters and stuff like that, we'll fry this meat and use, use what we fry out of this to season our greens and to fry our taters in. So that's how we do that. But what I do when I'm picking off or when I'm cutting off a piece to use to season something with like a pot of beans, I'll look at my meat and I'll pick I'll I'll pick the the fattest part of it because that's where your that's where your uh, flavor is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a chunk off of this end and I'll take that fat off and then I'll leave the rest of this lean for frying. You can cut cut a piece off and it don't matter. That's just how I do it. So I just I'll get a good measure here of how much fat. And I'll cut me off a piece. Just like that. Just a chunk of fat. It's got a little lean in there. That'll cook up. We'll get it out and eat it with supper. I don't eat the fat. I can't do that. But the lean is delicious. So that's what we'll use to season our beans with. I might go ahead and cut that in two pieces. Not necessarily two pieces, but... Cut it almost in two, leave it together like that, and it's easier to fish out at the end. You don't have to hunt for two pieces, just one. Our pork for seasoning. That's it, folks. Put it in Mrs. Beach's capable hands. That'll be the best pot of soup beans when they're done. Man, I can't wait. Now, it depends on when I put the beans on as to how I cook them. If I put them on early in the morning, which I like to do, cook them on low all day. Uh, if I cook, put them on later in the day, I put them on high and let them get to cooking really good. And just depending on how much time I've got, I'll switch them to low or let them cook mostly on high. But they're a lot better to cook them low and slow. But you just have to kind of get used to it. I don't have no time. I just go by... You know, I'll check them later in the day and see where they're at. Check them about four or something and see how close they are to being done and go from there. But uh, you put them on in the morning on low, they'll be good by that evening. I told you, didn't I? Miss Beach is a honey. Folks, I hope this video's helped you, inspired you to cook you a pot of good old soup beans. This is Justin and Mrs. Beach at Metcalf Mills. We look forward to you seeing us again next time.